At the beginning, when I heard that we were making this film, I was really excited. It was definitely nerve-wracking to hear, like, oh, we're gonna start the senior documentary. It seemed like a lot to tackle. I mean, the first thing that came to me was excitement because um, all of the seniors prior have loved the documentary. They've said that it's definitely challenging and it's a big step up because the work that you're doing isn't like, it's not normal high school work. We kicked off the expedition back in October. It was after school and there was a popcorn machine and a cotton candy machine, food. There were two filmmakers that came and spoke. We just learned like what makes a good documentary and what components need to go in and like the order kind of, of how you want your film to be laid, laid out. Well, we started out in physics learning about the different types of energy and kind of their pros and cons to each one. We actually each kind of picked different things, like trying to pick teams for like a football team and getting like the best parts of each different kind of energy. So like, oh, like the cost efficiency of gas and then like, you know, the safety of solar. Doing all of that gave us kind of a breakdown of all of the different kinds of energy. Uh, we started by just like taking notes in class about the different parts that make a good documentary, like the protagonists and obstacles, stakes, and I remember specifically watching example films and making posters on that, and that was just really interesting. The class read this book called Regeneration Ending the Climate Crisis in One Generation. It's broken up into different ways that our environment is being negatively impacted and ways that we can fix it or we are already fixing it or doing things to benefit it. After reading our section, we made something called the systems map, which kind of makes sense of all the concepts that we learned in our chapter as a group. We wrote down a bunch of concepts and then we organized them on the systems map to show how they relate to each other and if there are positive change to the other concepts or if there are negative change to the other concepts. A lot of that intersectionality to really highlight how connected everything is. Then we were looking at them and being like, okay, well, what of these problems or solutions can we either amplify or change? And we would call them leverage points. And hopefully the idea is to have, because everything's connected, it kind of ripples into all of the other parts of the map. The idea of making the documentary started as just like a bunch of different leverage points that everyone had thought of. And so it started with something really small and ended up being this huge thing. The GCC consensus dialogue was where everyone in their groups presented their topic. They would vote on whichever one was best at the very end. We ended up coming to the conclusion of like cities or um, rewilding, which are complete opposite. Like that's like infrastructure and like outdoors and environment stuff. And I was the one who suggested that we combine the two and to rewild them in the city, which is what we eventually went with. When we were preparing for field work, um, we, we got a role. And some people were file managers, photographers, interviewers. There was the producers that kind of uh, took the lead and, and uh, guided people around. And my role as an audio and video technician, I, uh, I learned how to operate cameras and uh, microphones and how everything kind of worked together. We would do like dry runs, which we would go in, a, in the bus all together with our equipment, drive around the parking lot, and then go into the school and set everything up like we would an actual interview. And then we'd interview like Mr. Wilson or Mr. Sensen or something, someone who was willing. I think I'm proud of how I work, how Ella and I work together as co-producers. Ella, she really took charge. She really like spearheaded this, our group. I felt like she was kind of handling more of the timing stuff and then I was kind of delegating like people and like telling people where to go and what to be doing. So I think that was a nice balance. The school actually had a someone that does interviewing as a career Her name is Peggy Gillespie and she came in and she talked to the group of people that were interviewing and that helped a lot with you know learning how to interview. I was a part of researching the people we were going to interview. I don't know, I felt kind of like weird about it because I was like, well, how am I going to really know? But it, it was helpful after we researched 
people um, once we were actually interviewing them to actually be like, I read this on your website, tell me more about this because it actually gave us some really good stuff. Preparing for field work was really fun because that was the first time I'd been in a group project where I could count on everybody doing their part and everyone was really engaged and invested in the material. If I needed something done, I felt that I could trust my peers to get it done. It was just felt very supportive. We went to Boston. It was a cold Wednesday, super windy. There was a long drive there, but it didn't compare to the like three hours of traffic we sat in on the way back. When it came around to actually interviewing, of course there was some nerves at first, but I just used what I practiced in the interview and it, it went really smoothly. I was surprised at how much it felt like like casual and like fun to talk to the person if you like build that kind of relationship with people. I was sort of expecting you to get there and just be like, you know. Um, so I'm glad it wasn't that. Interviewing was an experience for me. I felt really comfortable asking questions and just getting to be free brain curious. Fieldwork as like the day was super fun. Just like going out there on the bus and, and just having a lot of fun and like meeting these people and just being like, and meeting, oh my God, meeting Coach. We pull up to the parking lot for that and we meet this guy, Coach, which is really sweet and just such a pony. I really liked just doing interviews. I interviewed Nick Long and Fatima. They were both very welcoming and I had a really fun time exploring the city and seeing new places and just getting a different kind of look into Boston that I Usually wouldn't as a tourist. Um, I really liked the freedom that we had during the whole process, especially on the trip to Boston. Um, and I think that that was one of the really key things that, you know, they let us, you know, take these breaks and go into Boston and get food, which I think made it that when it was time to, you know, really get down and work, the students really wanted to put that effort in and pay that respect back to the teachers. The script writing process was maybe the hardest part for me of this documentary. First thing that we started to do was figuring out an outline and like which parts we were going to implement in each chapter. I didn't exactly know like what kind of tone the script was written in or how you even are supposed to write a script. The final script writing process was like almost worse because we had the whole script to tackle. We had sat in this little room as the final script editors to find a way to compile all of the individual things that everyone has worked on to make it one like inclusive and smooth script. Eleanor and Isaac would go up on the board and they'd create these perfect little lists of to-dos and we'd go up and every single time we completed a task, Eve would go up there and she'd cross it out. We'd be like, okay, one thing out of eight done, let's go. Progress for that one day was made. And it wasn't even that bad, like it was kind of fun. We were struggling together. When we auditioned for it to be narrated, we chose two paragraphs of the script and everyone who wanted to be narrated would read through them. And at the very end, everyone would vote on who they thought had the best voice or would fit best with the documentary. I was not expecting to win because I kind of just wanted to practice public speaking. <laughs> and then I won. I just spent the whole day narrating and it was very tedious. And at the very beginning of the day, I was like, okay, I can do this. I'll do each paragraph and then I'll stop recording and I'll record the second paragraph and it'll be perfect. And that was the first chapter. And then by the like second and third chapter, I was like, I had to keep, I had to do sentence by sentence. So as an editor, we were uh, assigned a chapter that the story team had worked on. And um, we, we got into groups who of other people who also had the same chapter and we divided it into parts. And we, we got our footage on a hard drive and put it into Premiere and uh, just kind of uh, got B-roll and um, edited it together into a hopefully cohesive movie. It was very quick to try to start figuring out what to do with each part, um, all the B-roll and narration, and then figure out what edits we wanted to make. It's really hard to pinpoint something that you learned in this project. It's a lot of starting small and growing on those principles. So you don't 
notice how much you're learning almost. I do do well under pressure and I knew this previously but it kind of this further solidified that fact that like working to get to reach a specific goal it pushes you to do better when you have limited time. Through this process I have learned mostly how to like film more. I feel like it's probably the biggest thing I've learned. Definitely dealing with cameras. I didn't have much experience with that. I've, you know, uh, played around with cameras before, but nothing really like take it, put it on the tripod, get the SD cards. And I think that was a, definitely a good uh, learning experience, definitely, because I'm also hoping to do stuff like that for college and stuff. Peering into the adult world and the more business side of a society that tightly packed was really different and I learned a lot from it. I was a part of the chapter that wrote about like the historical context of where, where Boston is now and I think thinking about a lot of that updated my understanding of, of the complex environmental issues in communities of color and also just people that are working class. And I think doing group projects, like this huge group project, really brought a lot of us together in ways that we hadn't been before. I've always enjoyed group work. I enjoy group work only when people are actually participating in the group. I think it brought everyone closer together. Not only are you just like, you know, turning an assignment for a good grade, but you're doing these things to make sure that everybody else succeeds. It's a much more teamwork based thing. Well, I'm actually looking forward to seeing what it all looks like together at the end. I'm just excited to be able to like celebrate and think about it and notice all of the intense emotions we might have had along the way and how those are still like real but also this now exists and like that we get to be happy about that. I'm really looking forward to seeing the final result because I've only seen the rough cut so far but I do really like the work that the editors have been putting into it. I'm just really excited to see how it comes together.